Hello learners, hope you are keeping well. Uh, today our lesson from economic geography and it's actually dealing with mining with special reference to the contribution and let me get my highlighter first. The contribution of mining to the South African economy and the significance of mining to development in South Africa. Okay, quite an interesting section. It's one of our big stuff. Okay, uh, contributors to our GDP and exports, etc., for South Africa. Okay, so let's go on. Okay, as you can see from the guideline, it's mining, it's contribution to economy, and its significance of development in South Africa. Okay, now. I want to start off with this, learners. I know it's not stated in the curriculum there, but I've seen this in one of the map work papers, okay, where they asked about identifying whether it's an open cast mine or something of that sort. So I just want to bring it out, all right? It's not something difficult. In case sometimes it just pops out, we have to think out of the box, etc. So let's look at this quickly, right? Open cast mining. Okay, it's so one type of mining is a surface mining technique that extracts minerals from an open pit on the ground. Can you see it's open? All right, it's open. In fact, in that paper, they also asked about uh, the environmental impact. Remember, this is developing horizontally, it's damaging the environment around, etc. So it is quite interesting from those examiners. Okay, so this is open, it's expanding horizontally. Then shaft mining refers to assessing of underground minerals through a vertical opening called a shaft. So this type of mining is vertical, it's going down. You understand vertically. Can you see all these things sending down the cables and the lifts that go down and mine inside the ground? That shaft, yes, it does have an impact in terms of loosening the soil and set or this rock structure by taking the minerals. We have tremors. You understand all those little things. So, yes, that's shaft mining, but not such an open environmental impact like this. Okay, so I thought I'll bring that in. So even if it by chance does pop up, we never know, it's not an indicator there, we're ready for anything. Okay, so let's get on then looking at the contribution of mining to the South African economy. Okay, you can just see it here, learners. It's an important contributor to the GDP, the gross domestic product. And in your earlier learning, uh, lessons on economic, you would have picked up this determines how developed a country is when we look at the, uh, uh, or how large rather the economy is, not how developed, that's per capita income, but how large the economy is when you look at the GDP. Now, look at this, learners. In 2015, 8% of our GDP, 8% came from mining alone. 8% is massive that came from mining alone. Okay, can you see how important it is in terms of the economics of South Africa or the South African economy, how much money is coming into our economy from mining. Okay, this is quite interesting. Eh? Look at our exports, all right, for this mining sector. Okay, look at the different ones, gold quite high, platinum, all right, iron ore. Can you see how we export these things? Coal, these are all percentages and all add up to 100%. But can you see even diamonds, manganese, grow? So we export a lot, okay? We export a lot. And exports from mining brings a lot of foreign exchange into the country. Imagine our de economic development when all this money is coming in. We're converting dollars to rands. Example, you take one 
dollar and at the current rate 16 to 17 rand you're getting 16 to 17 million rand coming in how much economic development can that bring all right and i'm going to show you a figure in 2018 all right the total mineral sale in the mining sector amounted to 498.7 billion of which 333.2 billion was from export sales massive massive all right money coming in okay so it's a huge contributor to the economy another one Remember, we need to stimulate growth in all sectors and mining stimulates growth in the secondary sector and tertiary and quaternary. Example, for the secondary sector, it provides raw materials for manufacturing. Example of jewelry, all right? Uh, selling of jewelry would be tertiary, of course, Manufacturing will be secondary. Research on improving mining and jewelry will be quaternary. Okay, this is an example using jewelry only. But there's so many different things that mining does. We can take iron ore made into iron and steel, made into cars. You understand, cars are then sold, research done to create better designs on the cars. Because you youngsters, when you grow up, you want those fancy sports cars. You understand? So all those things come through. Okay. Another economic factor, it creates employment in 2018. Okay. The whole industry employed 453,000 543 people that's massive employment imagine that economic uh, impact of that all these people working um, uh, the buying power from these people they're creating uh, more production in other sectors they're buying food other items increasing the production economic development okay massive right let's go on we look at the next one here. It led to the development of uh, infrastructure. Okay. Remember, the mines need to be connected. They have to be roads, railway lines, linking up areas. The raw materials have to go to the industries to be manufactured. Some get exported through harbors. And you must know it's a distance of roads and railway lines have to be transported. Now, everywhere where the mining is happening, small towns are developing and they are getting connected. So look at the infrastructure development. It's an economic thing because it doesn't only help the mining. When the infrastructure is developed, you understand, it helps other economic activities of transportation of goods or raw materials of other activities. Okay, so it has a huge economic impact. As I said, transport, railroad, road and harbors, mining towns. Okay, other infrastructure could have developed like your communication networks, power lines. There's so much that's used for economic development as a whole in the area of other industries, tertiary, secondary, all those things come about, okay? Now the significance of mining to the development in South Africa, the significance of mining to the development in South Africa, okay? There's various factors here. Now I just wanna bring your attention learners uh, note that various factors are similar for contribution and economy, okay? But you must watch out when you write any assessment, okay? You must make it specific. Just don't write. Remember, the difference, it must be applied to the economy when it's a contribution and for development, you understand in terms of the significance you applied like the first part we spoke about how uh, we find this GDP comes through and it brings in more money. 
Okay? So please note, learners, you must do that. Otherwise, you get it wrong. Related to either contribution to the economy or how it causes development. I'll show you the development now. All right? So it contributed to the development of infrastructure. Can you see that? Example, develop transport routes, mining towns, communication networks. That's straight development. We don't have to talk about the full economic development, but how it caused development, which related to economic development. It creates employment, okay? And I think they are mentioned also in 2018, the mining industry employed 453,543 people. I'm relating it to development now, watch, okay. This creates a bigger market for goods because people are earning, they can buy, resulting in the development of all economic sectors. All right, so all economic sectors now. Can you see I'm relating it to development? The employment, more money, more people buy, more manufacturing, all right, to cater for the needs, more tertiary services, schools, education, health, even your restaurants, etc. Okay, more research is done on products to improve them. So appetite, uh, it looks good for people to buy. All right, more taxes collected for development of infrastructure, roads, healthcare centers, basic needs for people. Can you see how it links? Now we're talking development. All right, contributes to energy development. Our coal is massive, okay? And it's a big one that produces our electricity. That's development. And it comes from coal, which is a mining product, all right? So there, and it provision of fuels. Example, sasa, you see it down here, that makes fuel from coal. All right, you can see ESCOM here. Yeah. All right, with pylons producing the electricity, it develops, so it's directly related to development. All right, and then we say, a large amount of minerals contribute to the development of the secondary sector as it provided the raw materials. I know I've mentioned this before, but I'm making it more specific. Can you see here? Manganese, etc., all spread throughout the country with our large amount of minerals. But so do we have oil refineries found in this section. Okay, and in uh, Durban, all right, then we have uh, iron and steel works. Can you see that? Copper production, all these things, metalwork and engineering dealing with that, all spread around. Lots of secondary activities around the mining. Okay, also, as you mentioned, tax collected from mining. It's used for developing South Africa. Example, building infrastructure, health facilities, education facilities, social facilities. That's all the government tax money that's built things for the, developed things for the people, which is developing the country. All right. So foreign exchange, you know how much exports come in from uh, money comes in from exports, foreign exchange comes in, and all that money in terms of taxation and uh, and whatever, you understand, those things come in to develop the country again, right? Foreign investment results in development of infrastructure and skills in the country. Okay, foreign investors come in, they want to set up mining companies and mines, they develop more mines, they develop infrastructure around the mines, you understand, which helps the development of the country again. Okay, uh, demand for more skills resulted in more tertiary institutions. Okay, so your demand for more skills now, we want skills to be developed in for the mining 
all right, to be employed in the mining. And who's going to teach the skills? The tertiary institutions, the universities, the colleges started to pop up even more, or even were grown bigger of the universities or colleges that existed. They had more facilities now to train people in the mining sector. All right, you'll still find universities want students to do uh, mining geology, etc. Okay. Right, so development of technology, okay, and research facilities also developed. Research being the quaternary sector, for example, developing equipment and systems in order to make mining more efficient and safer. Can you see, you know, you've heard lots of stories about mining, right, when they, uh, Things are not put in properly in the mine. There's explosions or tunnels collapse, etc., which causes massive damage, loss of life, closure of mines and things. And also sometimes we can't really mine at certain areas and the uh, removal of minerals is slower. So they look at more effective ways like this doesn't really look like the old mines eh? with all these new equipment coming in in this modern underground mining system can you see all generating and the guy or the miner is just pressing buttons and it's doing things and extracting etc so that's making production faster all right we're extracting the material faster or the minerals faster in a more effective way and in a safer way all right so that's development also so development is massive in terms of our our south africa through mining all right so mining plays a huge impact in future lessons we will look at different uh, mining uh, products like gold etc and how it actually develops the economy itself all right uh, learners i hope you enjoyed the lesson all the best goodbye